Aaron. Wonder Woman herself flew into NBC's Saturday Night Live this weekend, and we're not talking about Leslie Jones's version, she just took a cab from Times Square. Gal Gadot hosted the second episode of season 43, and she taught us a lot. It's easier than we thought to accidentally go on a date with OJ. Making out on an island of Amazons isn't all it's cracked up to be, and soon there'll be nothing but Kendall Jenner on TV. Here are some of the most memorable moments from this week's SNL. First up, Godot unknowingly found herself on a blind date with Kenan Thompson's O.J. Simpson. Luckily for him, Godot's character hadn't been keeping up with the news and she doesn't tend to Google her dates. Quick tip ladies, Google your dates. But she hadn't done her homework, so she just couldn't understand why the restaurant would only give him a plastic knife or why a patron would interrupt their dinner to call him disgusting. But O.J. was ready with a cover story. When you look like I do in this country, <laughs> People treat you differently. Next up, the show also poked fun at the Kardashian Jenner clan in a fake ad for e shows centered on the famous family. We're talking Where's Kanye? as Mr. West struggles to escape keeping up with the Kardashians. There was also Down Home with Blake and Gwen, where Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani proved they're normal folks just like us. The best part, though, was Godot starring as Kendall Jenner in Kendall's model house, in which the model found herself lost in her own home. Hey, that can happen when your house is enormous and you're only there for about two weeks a year, okay? Oh, Kendall. Is this the bathroom? Damn, closet again. <laughs> awesome. And as the sketch promised, we'll get more Kendall every half hour on the half hour until the end of time. Thank you, E. And you just knew Gal Gadot would be strapping on the Princess Diana sandals for a Wonder Woman spoof. As Godot sparred with her fellow Amazonian warriors, a boat rode up with Kate McKinnon and A.D. Bryant aboard, playing two lesbians looking for companionship. The bad news? The island women were not on the same page. Okay, it's like we're in a porn, <laughs> but the plumber is just genuinely there to fix the pipes. Damn it. The good news? Godot's Diana was still willing to experiment and planted a long kiss on McKinnon. Godot's verdict? I felt nothing. Bryant and McKinnon agreed and set sail for a nearby island, Lesbos. We'll assume things went better over there. And we end where the show began on a much more somber note. The show cold opened with a surprise appearance from country music artist Jason Aldean. The singer addressed the recent Las Vegas mass shooting during which he was performing at a music festival and called for unity. When America is at its best, our bond and our spirit, it's unbreakable. Aldean then launched into a cover of Tom Petty's I Won't Back Down, both in honor of his message and the late rock superstar who died last week. To watch the full clips from this weekend's SNL, including Aldine's complete petty rendition and both performances from official music guest Sam Smith, head to THR.com. In the meantime, what's your favorite moment from this week's episode? How would you rate Godot as a host? And are you ready for 24-7 Kendall Jenner TV? <laughs> Let us know in the comment section. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.